Say what you see. Yes, say what you see. That's what we have here. It's a bit of an oddity, and it is from GTO Films. It's the early 80s, this, and um, it's a film which involves Samson, you know, the new wave of British heavy metal band that a lot of people thought, well, they're going to become big. Samson are going to be the big band to break out. But really, they became... I suppose, when you think about it, after the fact, popular for being the band that Bruce Dickinson went to the breakout band from, that being Iron Maiden. You know, Bruce Bruce, as he was also called. And um, I don't think Samson really had the songs, in my view. I I'm willing to talk to people about that. I'm willing to discuss it. I'm willing to, to, um, to argue. But I don't think they really had the songs. And stuff like this doesn't help because this is, it, I mean, it's called uh, Biceps of Steel. Samson, Biceps of Steel. Now, the band are called Samson because of Paul Samson. But this film, which I don't know who bought this blooming thing because it's okay when it's on YouTube, which is where I saw it. But it's 15 minutes and... There was a there was a videotape out a VHS VHS not Betamax folks VHS video out and it's about fifteen minutes. So who bought that? Was it cheap? I, d I don't expect it was. Did, did they expect people who love new wave of British heavy metal would buy it? I don't know, but it's fifteen minutes. That's all, and um, it's a, it's a story. It's a story about um, Samson. So, you know, you've got Samson there and um, he has biceps of steel. I mean, it's all right. Um, I'm trying to, to remember who the, the person who, um, who plays Samson is because really he's a, he's a roadie. So I'm looking at the moment to see what, what we've got here. It's Barry Reeve, is the guy, Barry Reeve. He's, he doesn't look huge. It's not like a Conan the Barbarian, I'll be back, Arnold Schwarzenegger type thing. He is a fairly lean looking roadie with a big Zapata tash, which is fair enough. It's authentic. He's having a bit of, bit of tea. And um, he turns up in an Arctic on his own an articulated lorry doesn't turn up from the Arctic. No, that'd be something else. That'd be Nanook of the North. Buns of steel. Probably something like that. Anyway, they say, come on, there's 2,000 headbangers in there. Jumps out of the Arctic uh, onto somebody's foot. Oh, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a comedy thing, you see. And then grabs a Marshall stack, or several actually, above his head and goes into, um, goes into the 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 venue and then builds huge martial stacks and everything else including the cage for thunderstick Barry Perkis the thunders for thunderstick you know the drums and all that it's produced by John Roseman this and and directed by Julian Temple I don't know whether this was something that you thought I have to direct Samson or whether someone said Julian come on you can do this can't you yeah I can do it well then could you just you know it, it's a job do it you get paid but it's the band playing um, Hard Times. Um, you know, in my life, I've been a fighting man. I'm not Bruce Bruce, so there you go. As security, um, who generally don't speak, but tend to burp and fart and all that kind of thing in orange jumpsuits. They look a bit like McCoy, uh, John McCoy. Um, you know, they're shaven headed and all that and tattooed and big and they're holding the crowd back. These crowd want to headbang. There's 20,000 headbangers in there. And um, some of them break free and get towards the um, the stage and then get pulled back by the headbangers. Now, Barry Reed's not very happy about that, Samson, and he fights. Eventually, he gets very angry and fights with all of the security. He takes them all on, beats them all up. But there's a woman there's a woman watching who's um, Mary Tempest, who's playing Delilah. And she's watching on. And um, 
the security guard start after after the 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 um the gig. He goes and I don't know, he doesn't do a get out or anything. So he, he's left the Marshall Stacks there. Really, it looks like the it looks like the gig's ended. I mean, it has. I mean, it looks like it has. And he's just lying on the ground backstage. So he's um the security guards talk to to Mary. I don't know if they make a a deal with her, but she goes and kind of consorts with him and there's a bit of, ooh, you're nice, aren't you? I'm feeling your biceps and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the um, the band play, vice versa, in sort of, um, you know those lasers where you can get like a sky effect with um, Bruce Dickinson sticking his head up through the, through the lasers? Yeah, looks like he's, like he's in a swimming pool, that sort of thing. Um, by the way, uh, Delilah offers him a bunch of grapes. That seems to seal the deal for him. And then she cuts his rather... I mean, it looks like he's got a wig on, to be honest. His, his locks. And then he's holding up, while they're playing, the Marshall Stacks. Huge Marshall Stacks. But he can't because all of his power's gone, folks. Samson and Delilah, remember. And um, it falls on the band. And, and the crowd. That doesn't seem like a very good outcome, does it? Go and see Samson. And you might end up crushed. It's a bit weird. I don't quite know what Samson got out of this, apart from playing two songs, but it doesn't look like... I mean, the band look and sound great, and they always did, it seemed to me, but... I don't know why. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a basic story. It's really quite badly done in a kind of comic book type style, and it's... um, It ends with death. So I don't quite know what the band are looking for in this respect. It's a bit weird. And um, I think, I reckon, it's it, one of the things that you're involved in that doesn't really work very well. And maybe that's one of the reasons why Samson never really made it. I think I'd plump for losing the lead singer and also the songs. But this, it's on YouTube, is extraordinary. Has anybody seen it before? Because I never have. And um, I don't think I want to see it again. Ta-ta.